What's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Walking Dead, the well episode of Recap Review. Spoilers! For a number of familiar faces, a new well-established community seems too good to be true. So, this starts with, um, Carol kind of tripping. Uh, she starts seeing zombies as people when they're being killed. So, who knows what they're doing with that. Um... She's with the kingdom people who are helping Morgan take her to the kingdom. They get there. Uh, she's been asleep for a couple days. And Morgan's been helping the kingdom people. Because that's how the kingdom goes. You have to help. And that's how you just gotta help. Um, so then eventually, Carol's Morgan's pushing Carol around in a wheelchair. And takes her to see King Ezekiel. And Shiva the tiger. And Carol plays along with the sweet, innocent role. And it's kind of just like, are you serious? This is a joke. This is a fairy tale. It's all make-believe. Which is true, so she's kind of taking the Michonne role from the comic book. If you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, they're there for a couple of days. Um, they're trading with the saviors. And they take Morgan with him. And they give them tainted pigs that eat zombie people. So they give them that. And uh, one of the kingdom gets into it with the other guy from the saviors. And he takes free shots at him because he ducks. And then holds him down kind of. And then Ezekiel's like, let him go. That's not what we do. And then he takes free shots and punches him a couple times. Because the savior guy told him like... Uh, we're going easy on you, so be grateful kind of thing. He told them, like, you got that backwards. So they get into it, and then they take free shots. So basically, eventually, they're going to have Morgan and Carol go back to Alexandria and say, like, hey, we met new people, and they're dealing with the saviors, too. If you read the comic book, you know what's coming. Um, so yeah, it's like a whole long talky episode. And... Carol steals some clothes and a knife and is going to leave. She's picking some apples in a uh, nursery type place. Right before she leaves, Ezekiel catches her and has us sit down and talk with her. And he's like, what do you say? And we learn uh, Ezekiel's right-hand man is uh, Jeffrey? Jeremy? Something like that. Something with the J. I pay attention. Uh, he says deuces. And goes to Holler Range. Um, so yeah, he basically, Ezekiel basically explains to Carol, like, Hey, don't be a BS or your sweetness and act was great, but my king act is better. And basically tells her how he saved Shiva at the zoo before and then saved her again. And knows she's a vicious tiger and could eat ten people and get off my chain and pull my arm off. But she hasn't. She won't. Um, he explained to save their life before everything went bad and then went back to the zoo when everything went bad and saved their life again. And kind of convinces Carol to stay and not stay, go but don't go type of thing. Like, she's like, why do you even care? It's like, it makes me feel good. Which was true when you care about and help people, you feel good about helping people. So he kind of tells her, like, go but don't go. And it ends with um, Morgan taking her to a house by a gate where he marked on the mailbox and put the outgoing mail sign up. They never really explain that. Um, but yeah, so she goes in that house, kills a zombie, stays in the house. And then it ends with Ezekiel coming over with the pomegranate because he gave her, he offered uh, her fruit. When they first met, I was like, well, at least have a pomegranate. They're really good. And he's like, you gotta try one of these. And that's how it ends. And next week, sneak, pre sneak peek type of deal is uh, gonna be a Daryl episode. So we're gonna get to see inside uh, the Savior's place and see how that's run. Which, if you read the comic book, I'm interested in seeing how they do that on television. Because it's pretty raunchy. So... Feel free to 
catch up on all my stuff. It's all over here and subscribe somewhere around here. Peace. Deuces.